Hey guys, welcome back to Paradise. Today I just wanted to bring you a little video on an updated cons list about our truck camper and what we don't like about it. So for those of you who have not been following us or are new to the channel, welcome. And if you're watching, it probably means you're probably looking at getting a truck camper. And so to give you a little background on my situation and story here, uh, the camper we're working with today is going to be a 1995 Shadow Cruiser. There we go. And me and my wife and our three rescue dogs have been living in it full time for the last three years. Uh, some little a little addition about us is that we are completely off grid. So our cons list will have nothing to do literally with the electronic side of the camper. Um, we have no stove, we have no heater, we have no fridge, we have no lights. Um, we ripped pretty much all of that out because we didn't want to deal with it. So this cons list is pretty much just on uh, the basics of a truck camper. And we did a video earlier when we first started out to do a cons list. It was much longer. Now we've literally condensed it. And to tell you the truth, there's really nothing that we don't really like about the truck camper. Our two cons that we're going to have today are pretty much dealing with the canvas of the pop-up. And mo both problems are pretty much because it's old. It's a 1995. Um, and we have it in the sun every single day because we follow the sun and we just sit in it all day long. So it's pretty much going to uh, deteriorate sooner or later. So let me uh, just jump into it and we'll show you what our two cons are for today. So our first con is just going to be the screens on here. They start to deteriorate. As you can see up here, there are a lot of holes and I've actually been trying to sew them. You can see some of the sew stitches there. Um, I've been trying to stitch them back together so they don't fall apart and let all the bugs in in the summer. But again, that's not really a truck camper thing. It's just mostly an old screen thing. So if you if you look at getting an older truck camper, that's one thing you're going to have to deal with. All right, our second con here is going to be, well, we're on the inside. As you can see, there's the holes again and my stitch job of trying to fix that. The second one is going to be the zippers on the, uh, the solar screen here. They fall off the track and once they fall off the track you're pretty much done with the zipper there's no way to uh, to fix it once you like lose a tooth on here it's uh, pretty much done so now you really can't use this too much so we actually had to implement some we put some snaps on it so we could at least close it but otherwise there would be no way to um yeah close this the solar so it has to be down all the time and now with the holes then the bugs would just be able to to come right in so my last con is actually going to be something that I've been seeing in a lot of older truck campers is something called roof rot. So you can see that bolt there is actually starting to pretty much pivot and go through the roof. So that's holding the bar on the inside that's pretty much lower, uh, raises and lowers the roof. So you can see that one compared to that one over there. That's what it's supposed to look like. Um, yeah, so we have that. So pretty much the wood behind there gets mo uh, rotten and it pretty much deteriorates and then that allows that bolt to twist and go up through the roof. But I've been seeing a lot of that on forums and stuff with the older truck camper. So definitely something to keep an eye out for if you're looking at getting an older camper. So there you have it guys. Those are my cons for the truck campers. Most of them had to do with the pop-up, um, the, the roof rot and the screens and the canvas. So pretty much if you're planning on getting an older truck camper, keep an eye out for those. Make sure that those are in good condition and definitely keep an eye on that back uh, those back bolts because they will rot sooner or later so just keep an eye out for those ones otherwise that's my cons for today if you guys have any more questions about truck campers or living on the road or anything make sure to leave them in the comments below otherwise we'll see you guys next time bye